space weather this week calms down just a little bit when it comes to big solar flares. As we take a look at our Earth-facing disk, you can see region 3088 rotating off of the Earth's uh, west limb here, but not before it goes wham right there and fires off one parting shot. This is a very big flare, and it launched a massive solar storm that actually became a, a halo in coronagraphs. But don't worry, this solar storm is headed away from Earth, not towards it, so we're not going to see anything more. Meanwhile, region 3089, which is still a big flare player, has kind of quieted down a little bit. We're going to wait to see if it rotates, as it rotates to the sun's west limb, if it kind of picks up its mojo again and begins firing big flares. That is possible. Also, look in the north, we have a, a coronal hole. This coronal hole, about a month ago, gave us some decent storming, and so we could get some decent fast wind from this again, starting around the 4th. So we're going to be paying attention to that for aurora photographers. And then behind that, if you look at the uh, east limb of the sun, you can see some bright regions here, kind of some glowing stuff in the back that haven't really rotated into view yet. But if we take a look at the sun's far side, this is stereo A, and it's looking at the sun just a little bit from the side. You can get your bearings. You can see region 3088 kind of rotating off of the west limb there in stereo's view and launching all those storms. 3089 is in center disk, essentially in the south. But look at all these regions as of about the end of the month on Stereo's east limb. These are regions 3078, old region 3078, which was a big flare player, along with regions 3081 and 3083, possibly. And we are seeing through uh, the far side helioseismology that these regions are still well developed. They also look to be uh, firing off big solar storms, so they could easily be big flare players, which means we are basically trading one big flare player for another. So amateur radio operators and emergency responders, get ready. It looks like we're not going to get that long of a reprieve before radio blackouts could be back on the menu, and this means we have to be careful with space traffic and radio comms, and this includes GPS users, especially anywhere near dawn or dusk. For more details on this week's space weather, including how these big flare players may affect you, come check out my channel or see me at spaceweatherwoman.com.